but I'm at that age where I'm that adult friend who will come to your house and I will fall asleep because I'm tired. What business do I have eating a burger from McDonald's at 2 a.m., a quarter pounder? Saturday morning happy Saturday last night we had company and so I didn't go to bed until like after 3 a.m. so I was praying to God that when I slept and woke up I didn't feel tired and I slept I woke up fine I'm in good spirits however I'm trying to make breakfast so I can have something in my body before it's time for me to go to work these buses like to play on the weekend so like I need to hurry up and make the breakfast and like shower but I refuse to shower before I I am um, cook because I'm not gonna shower and cook then I'm gonna be hot then I'm gonna feel like I have to okay we can't do all that so trying to make some breakfast just package my lunch together because I need food along with some fruit I have some smoothie in the fridge I need to see what that's about and then shower and I should be ready to go but it's a Saturday the hair is done I'm ready to go hopefully today I'm not late because <laughs> what am I doing I'm going bare face because I'm hot right now, but I feel like I still need to bring a jacket because literally at the register feels like a winter day all the time. It'd be so cold inside there. I never understand it. So I need to make sure that I take like a little denim with me so that when it gets cold, I can just slip that on and still be fine. Firstly, I want to know why it is insanely hot outside. I'm sweating over my mouth. That's not cute. But last night was such a good night. One of my friends came over. We had some great adult company. A few drinks. Some curry chicken and dumpling. And we already know how I feel about food. So that was a good um, night on its own with just good company. But like a good mental health day. Because I feel like sometimes... I feel like it's already a cliche. Where um, adults turn their noses up at good mental health especially from a Jamaican background because I think you're crazy if you're going through something or like oh your feelings are not valid or whatever so I felt like yesterday was a great mental health day with good company and I appreciate that hi all today's Sunday happy Sunday I'm currently sitting in the living room and I have my hair in this rough high bun because <laughs> I washed my hair earlier. I'm beginning to think that I wash my hair a little too often these days. And I feel like um, a couple of months ago, like back in the winter, I was doing pretty, pretty good with not washing my hair for like two weeks because I had it in braids and I was wearing the wigs and stuff. But now that I have it out and like it's the hotter months and a lot of the days I'm trying to be outside and to be active. So like I will go on the longest walks. I have to wash my hair more often. So I wash my hair, but two days. Let me tell you all about today. Today, um, well, not even just today. Yesterday, I went by one of my friends because the night before, he had come by and he was here and like we cooked and chilled and whatever and that was good. So last night, he hit me up and he was like, "Yo, there's gonna be some food at the house. Are you coming by?" So I'm like, "Yeah, just round up one of your mans and send them for me." And so somebody came and picked me up and like I went over. We were chilling. We ate food. I ate a burger at. 2 a.m. Not very proud. All right. What business do I have eating a burger from McDonald's at 2 a.m.? A quarter pounder. Is that McDonald's? Yeah, wherever I got it from. I ate that at 2 a.m. and I was not proud at all, but it was stupid good and some sprites. Oh my gosh. But um, I ended up falling asleep. I'm at that age where I'm that adult friend who will come to your house and I will fall asleep because I'm tired. Okay. Yesterday was um. Yesterday was Saturday. I worked yesterday and so I was just stupid tired. So I came home and I was hanging out for a while before my friend called and said he'll come over or whatever. And so I went and I fell asleep and this morning when I woke up was this morning. Okay. And I'm like, damn, am I going to be doing the walk of shame? And he's just like, bro, that is not exactly how the walk of shame works. I'm like, oh, I thought the walk of shame pretty much consisted of you leaving your house the night before in the same clothes and like coming home in the daytime or like the next morning in the same clothes and he's like yeah but no like something has to happen for it to be the walk of shame and i'm like oh okay okay well whatever and so um 
I woke up at 10 and I'm just like, go come drop me home. And he's like, yeah, after I make breakfast, I had a total of three cups of coffee between between 11 o'clock last night and like 12 p.m. today. That is not good. But the coffee was so good. Oh, I had to. And then he made breakfast. That joint looked good. And it tasted good too. And I love that. Like these days, I've really been appreciating not being so domesticated no more. Not cooking all the time no more. So anybody is cooking, I'm coming over. And so I did that and that was fun. And I've been home for a hot minute. For like the last eight hours. Hmm for like the last six hours or so I've been home and I've really just been chilling I even went to sleep for an hour I came home I showered I washed my hair I was talking to my friend on the phone for a hot ass little minute and then um I went and I slept for like an hour it is currently 8 40 and I think I'm gonna make a chicken salad not really sure because I was eating these there's these bags of like mixed nuts and all types of stuff that I bought from Aldi's the other day when I went and that has been so good the other night I opened it and tried tried it and I'm like damn this is really really good and at first I was sleeping on it and so I might just have a little bit more of that because it's already a little bit late today I was kind of bummed out too because I planned to go on a long walk and I have not done that yet and I'm working the next two days consistently so not gonna walk until like Wednesday but Wednesday morning I want to wake up early and like go do that and like just knock that out of the way and like get my day started off right so love that for me but for the most part I'm just here watching YouTube and chilling and just enjoying them Sunday afternoon have some drumsticks in the fridge do I actually yeah I do I have some drumsticks in the fridge and I think I'm gonna enjoy one as a nice little Sunday treat so we'll do that and I'll see you guys later tomorrow or at some point little OOTD moment not me literally sitting over here like I don't have work I can do this because I woke up um a little bit earlier I normally wake up at 7 30 but i woke up a little bit earlier to make sure that i had enough time before it was time to go to work my friend promised me lunch today but i still brought lunch with me just in case because today is a monday is today monday yeah today's a monday it's the first work day of the week and i'm pretty sure that he's gonna get slammed so i'm not even gonna hold him accountable to that and I'm not going to say anything. If he remembers, he remembers. If not, then I'll bring it up at a later date. Like, you owe me. But, like, I'm not going to hold him to that or anything. If he pulls through, then he does. If not, then it's okay. We move. I'm going to go over there again. I'm going to get food again. I'm going to always get food. So, it's not that serious. So, my bun looks way better than it did yesterday. Because I brushed it up and stuff. So, that's good. Um, and I'm pretty much ready to go to work. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go sit in my very air conditioned bedroom and enjoy that for like the next however long before it's time for me to actually go to work i was researching something that i want to get for my room like in the corner of my room i want to get that like this little stand because i have one night stand i don't understand these furniture sets here because in jamaica when you buy a furniture set you get two night stands with like the bed chest whatever here you get one i can't find the same one to repurchase it I saw something similar on Amazon, but like, similar, but it's different. So I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'm not doing that. And I feel like it's too big, it wouldn't hold in the space either. So I'm gonna just work with the one and get like a stand, cute little stand to like display things or whatever to put in that corner. Not in a hurry right now, but this is how I like to do my research way ahead of time. But um, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I would come home from work absolutely starving I'm trying to see if i can make i need to go through that what is supposed to be some fried rice and something because starving head kind of hurts today i had patty for lunch even though i brought food i go back tomorrow so i left the food in the fridge so that's fun but now i gotta make something to eat because my head hurts maybe i'll make some coffee too it's never too late for coffee